The industry has been talking a lot about diversity in recent years, but what are companies doing about it? Today, I ask AV, how are they handling diversity? We have a lot of different experiences at Holoplot, so people come from a lot of different industries to join us. Um, myself, I'm not from a pro audio background. Um, our CEO is not from a pro audio background, so we foster diversity in a way that encourages people to join us from a variety of different skill sets. Um, in the recent months, in the past six months, 46% of our hires were women, which we're very proud of, but we know we have a lot of work to do, um, not just at Holoplot, but the, at the industry as a whole. So we're looking forward to seeing everyone follow suit. From the Visor T side internally, um, we have a policy where for every role, the final two candidates have a 50-50 gender split. There is also um, unconscious bias training for um, all recruitment managers. On an external side, we have worked quite closely for the last year with RISE, and that's a UK-based organization um, that really aims to foster gender diversity in the media tech sector, and we participated in their mentorship programs in um, EMEA and APAC, and we've also sponsored a um, we've also sponsored a category in their Rise Awards. So hopefully we'll carry on the relationship and expand, because it's really important that women and people in general really thrive in the media tech sector. So this is really hard, right? Because we're in an industry that's a a secret to most of the world. Um, but what are Midwich doing about it? Well, we're striving to be the best employer that we can be. And a big part of that is about making sure at all times that anyone who works for us feels as comfortable as possible. Um, we, we do lots internally. So not too long ago, 92 women joined a call with our managing director uh, to make sure that he fully understand what it was like to be a woman who works at, at Midwich. And you know, a number of ideas came out of that, which were great. So ultimately what we do is we're always listening. Um, to make sure that we are ahead of anything that our employees need. And then in terms of outreach, that uh, is something that we can use to draw on, bringing in uh, a more diverse, younger workforce so that we naturally gain that diversity in the industry. So what we're doing, we're incredibly passionate about the education sector and we've been involved in designing and building broadcast virtual production studios for the media departments at universities for quite some time now. Um, so for us we want to be able to open up more opportunities to to the, the secondary and the, the further education level um, and providing students from across all backgrounds the opportunity to get hands on with the latest technology, get that exposure and that gives them a platform then to, to lead into university and get into the industry as well with a good platform. Well, I think from a from, from the perspective of a, of a global organisation, um, it's it's happening quite naturally, actually. And from our point of view, because everybody is quite globally enabled and locally enabled, um, our teams are able to. Um, um, employ the people who are best for the job um, but we're seeing more and more women um, coming into the uh, the technology industry um, and you can see that from from the likes of our UK team which has got 60 40 split 60 percent women 40 percent men same actually is exactly the same ratio in France and in Germany we're seeing a lot more women coming into the AV industry which is great uh, really good news um, we're also doing a lot more about it from a from a um, geographical point of view in terms of making sure that we're giving opportunity in different regions um, and that comes through in our local for local manufacturing point of view as well where we're um, making our displays more locally um, which helps with the sustainability side of things but it also really helps with getting the people who are um, in need of the jobs in, in different communities um, and therefore enabling more women and more different people to come into the technology industry from all over the world. There's, first of all, let's just start with why we need it in the first place. I mean, what is this show about but innovation? And you can't innovate if you don't understand your customers. So we need to have proper diversity in our companies to help design, develop, manufacture the solutions that people need. So it's an uphill battle, there's a lot of work to do, so I'm very happy that the industry continues to have this discussion. So as an organization, 
we actually do a lot of partnering with some of the trade groups, Avixa's um, Women's Council, Avixa's Diversity Council. Those have a lot of very good efforts going on to try to figure out how to not just attract people into this industry, but then to retain them. It's kind of a it's kind of hard to get into the AV industry in the first place to find it, but then for everybody to be able to find it, that's what those kind of organizations are trying to do. So internally as a company, we try to make sure when we attract the right kind of people into our organization that they also stay and they thrive. So for example, we have affinity groups in our company. So we have a women's uh, group that does the monthly meetings where they really help us to solve business problems. You know, what kind of solutions do we need to get to market? Maybe that have a different perspective than we were thinking of before. And then they also will take up topics like what's going on with recruiting. Are we recruiting in all the right places? Are we not thinking of novel ways of finding new talent? So those internal organizations help us. There's been a lot of talk recently about diversity, equal opportunity, and it's just a matter of actually implementing it within the workspace. And I think Samsung's definitely done that. I've been at the company since September, and that's the first thing I noticed, to be honest. Um, whether that's when it comes to gender, whether it comes to people from all over the world who have been through different experiences, who have had different, who are in different backgrounds. It's just so refreshing to see within a workspace, not just when it comes to business, but also learning about different cultures, um, seeing what people have been up to within their you know, careers. It's, it's wonderful.